Now, if you want to click the image of this result, instead of clicking the screenshot, you can go to plot control, select hard copy and save this image. Now, if you want to animate this result, go to plot control, select animate and click on OK. So hello guys and welcome back to our channel, Simple Random Knowledge. So guys, in today's video, we are going to see how to perform a stress analysis of a CST element. So this is a figure given to us and we have the values of nodal displacement also. So before moving towards our video, there are around 80% of people who are watching this video, but they haven't subscribed to my channel. So I genuinely request to all you guys that please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon near it. So without wasting any more time, let's start with today's video. So guys, this is the user interface of ANSYS CPDL software. So first step, go to file, select option, clear and start new and select your do not read file, click on OK. Now ANSYS CPDL will ask your permission whether you want to execute this command. So click on yes. So using this command ANSYS CPDL clears all your previous project data and provides you new fresh window. So now we start with our experiment by setting our preference as structural and click on OK. Now as we know in any experiment we have some preprocessors, solution and general post-processing steps. So same user interface you will get in this ANSYS CPDL software. So first we set our preprocessors. Select your element type. Click on add elements. Now select your solid and click on OK. Now go to options. Select the element behavior as plane stress with thickness. Click on OK. Now close this window. Now go to real constant option, click on add, again click on add, ok. Now in the question we have the value of thickness given to us which is 10 mm. So click on ok. Now close this window. Now go to material properties, select your material models. Select structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. Now the value of EX given to us is 2E5 and value of PR given to us is 0.3. Click on OK. So close this window. Now go to modeling. Select option create. Now you can observe in this figure. We need to create three key points. First key point as 0, minus 40. Second key point on 0, 25. And third key point on 55, 0. So select option key points in active CS. Now key point number 1 is 0, minus 40. Click on apply. Key point number 2, 0, 25. And key point number 3, 55, 0. Click on OK. So we have created our three key points. Now we are supposed to create area using these key points. So go to option area, select option arbitrary, through key points, select key point number 1, 3, and 2. Click on OK. So this way you can create the area using these key points. Now minimize this modeling, go to mesh, select mesh tool. Now in the size control option, click on the option global sets. Now the number of element division set as 1, click on OK. Now select the shape of this mesh element as triangular and click on option mesh. Select this area, click on OK. Now close this warning. Now we move towards the loads, so select option loads, select define loads, apply, structural, displacement. Now in the question, we have the values of nodal displacements given to us. So we are going to use these values. So u1 and v1 is for key point number 1, u2 and v2 is for 2, and u3 and v3 is for key point number 3. So select your option key points and select key point number 1. Click on OK. So first close this mesh tool. Now select ux and ui and the displacement values given in the question is 1. So click on apply. Now select key point number 2, click on OK. Now just select UX because we have different value for UI. The value given for UX is 0.5. So click on apply. Again select key point number 2, click on OK. Now unselect this UX and select UI. And select displacement value as 0, click on apply. Now last select key point number 3, click on OK. Now select your UX and unselect this UI constraint. And the value of UX given in the question is 3. Click on apply. Now again select key point number 3. Click on OK. 
Now this time select UI and then select this UX option and the displacement value given to us is 1. So click on OK. So this way we have done with the applying the loads to so minimize this displacement and minimize this load. Now go to solution, select option solve, select current LS, click on OK, click on yes. So we have got the prompt that our solution is done. So close this window. Now we move towards the general post processing steps. So first go to plot result option, select contour plot, select option nodal solution, DOF solution, displacement vector sum, click on OK. So we have got the values of displacement. Now if you want this image in 3D form, so what you can do is go to plot control, select style, size and shape, display of element, turn it on, click on OK. Now this is the front view. To see this figure in isometric view, select here isometric. Now if you want to click the image of this result, instead of clicking the screenshot, you can go to plot control, select hard copy, to file, select file format as PNG or GPG and save this image and this image will be saved in the folder which you have selected as a directory folder while starting this ANSYPDL software. Now again go to nodal solution, select total mechanical strain, select X component, click on OK. So you can see the red color which is uniformly distributed. This indicates that there is a constant strain across the triangular domain. Now we are supposed to see the deformed shape. So go to deformed shape, select deformed plus and deformed result and click on OK. So this is the deformed shape of our object. Now if you want to animate this result, go to plot control, select animate, select deform shape, deform plus and deform result and click on OK. So we have successfully animated our result. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon near it and share this video among your friends. And if you have not watched my playlist on FE experiments, then you will get a link of that playlist in our description as well as in our button. So until the next video, stay safe and happy learning. Thank you.